a lot of people were saying that if someone painted the ceilings with latex paint, that it could potentially be really hard to get off. But as you can see, I've already started and it's actually not that bad. So. Hey y'all, I just put my daughter down for bed and I'm currently making dinner for my husband and I. Grace ate like an hour and a half ago, but I started our first project on the interior of the house, like first major project, which is getting rid of the popcorn ceiling in all of the bedrooms and the living room. But I'm starting with the guest room and the guest room had like dog pee carpet that we got rid of from the previous owner and it smelled really bad in there but what we're doing is we've scraped up everything on the floor and we're going to paint the floor with a sealant thing called kills if you've heard of it and it just gets rid of all odor and makes a better base for new carpet which we're getting new carpet this week but before the new carpet comes i want all of the old carpet to be used for maybe like drops of paint because i want to paint everything so i don't want to paint when we have the new carpet so tonight i am attempting to seal the floor paint the walls get rid of the popcorn ceiling and paint the ceiling i don't know if i'll get it all done but i'm gonna try she's watching little baby bum look at that face okay so you guys have seen this room before it had a bunch of crap in it but now it's empty and as you can see this room does have a view of the pool which is still brown but my husband dug a ditch today and so i just got one of these garden pumps for ten dollars at lowe's and it's like one of those pressurized ones that allows you to spray and our ceilings are painted which i was really concerned about because a lot of people were saying that if someone painted the ceilings with latex paint that it could potentially be really hard to get off but as you can see i've already started and it's actually not that bad so at first i thought i needed to um, take this 10 inch what do they call this spatula taping knife um, at first I thought I needed to like open up some of the ceiling because that's what some experts say is that you need to Some experts say that you need to like scrape and open up the latex paint to be able to get the water to even go into the popcorn But this was such a thin layer of paint that it really wasn't that bad So I didn't know that till I tried I thought this would be one of those houses where I was gonna have to scrape and scrape spray soak it down scrape and scrape some more um and it would come off in little chunks but i don't know all i did was just soak it and let it sit for about 15 minutes and i came in here and it just came off so easily so i think that's exciting so i'm gonna film it for you guys this channel is not a diy channel but i want to document what we're doing to our house so um So I'm just gonna let all of that soak for about 10 minutes and I was cooking dinner so I need to resume cooking dinner but the ceiling in that first bedroom is soaking currently. I only did half of it. I want to see how it goes and then I'll finish it. A few moments later. We are about to scrape the entire ceiling except for the part around the fan because we have to take the fan down and we're also going to take the then cover down over there. I'm gonna time us to see how long it takes. And I'm wearing a mask because I feel like it's gonna be a little dusty. Mask, or are you good? And do you have your scraper? Yeah. Yes, yeah. just briefly. So that literally took us one hour. 
We're not done. I know. We're I know. Also done. But we got all of the popcorn ceiling off. Hey guys, it is day two of the ceiling renovation. We are mixing together the mud right now. This is the pile of stuff that we had last night. We started to paint it and we realized that paint just does not give you the coverage that you need for like that texturing and there's like a gouge in the ceiling. Anyway, paint is just not the way to go. You have to, you have to do it right and you can't um, cut corners. So we're mixing together the mud to texture the ceiling. All right, y'all, so I'm working on skim coating the ceiling. I don't know if I wanna roll it on or do it with the blade um, in the little trough. Okay, so life with a baby had to stop what I was doing because she has needs and she has to eat. So I took care of that. Her food is warming up right now. But Josh is working on the pool currently while I do that one bedroom. And this totally explains why our pool is so muddy, as you can see in the background. Just get ready for what you're gonna see. Holy, literally crap. That filter didn't even stand a chance of cleaning the pool. It is absolutely filthy. Watching her while she naps. And I'm also almost done. Doesn't look like it, but I am. Um, it is a few hours later since I last showed you guys what was going down. Um, I have skim coated a lot of this. <laughs> um, I've skim coated probably 75% of the room. <sighs> it's a long repetitive process and my shoulders are tired, um, but I feel like I've done pretty good so far. So, um, here, let me just show you the texture of it. I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, you can see it there. It's just a skim coat trowel look. You can see like right there where the trowel hopped a little bit. But honestly, y'all, I just don't care. <laughs> At this point, I'm just tired, and the, this is better than the popcorn ceiling by far. Um, my goal now is to just let this stuff dry, and then prime it, paint it, and then paint the walls, and then we gotta paint the floor with the floor sealant. So, this project, like probably most of the projects, is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but um, the end is in sight. All I got left is that section right there. So I think I'm gonna run out of mud though, so I'm gonna have to send Josh to Lowe's. Okay, hey guys, um, this room is not clean currently because it, this is several weeks later. I'm currently editing the video that you're watching and I realized that I never filmed an after. So we painted the walls white and I ended up painting the ceiling white and you can see the texture on the ceiling. Turned out really, really good. This room just looks like a big white open box. It's really bright in here. Um, currently it is an overflow room, but that doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you guys the final product and now we'll get back to the video. Oh, also I guess I'll show my daughter's nursery. I did her ceiling also and we painted her walls gray. So this room turned out great as well. I did both ceilings, did them both yeah. in two days. Yeah. It was a really difficult, but worth it project. One eternity later. Hey guys, I am gonna vlog today because we're doing our backyard, we're finishing it. And I think the last time you guys heard about our house, I showed you the muddy pool. And a lot has happened since then. It's been like three or four weeks. And we paid a pool guy to come and get the pool clean and it's clean now. And we also updated some things on the backyard. So I just wanna share some progress with that. And I've done a lot of stuff on the house too that I think I'll update that with. But anyway, it's Saturday, May 8th. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Um, just wanna share the weekend with y'all. 
Yeah, my day already started at 6 a.m. I answered a bunch of wedding emails and breastfed my daughter. And now we're gonna start on the yard work here in a bit. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Hi. Are you all done? Hi. All right, y'all. So as you can see, the pool is beautiful now. Um, there's a bunch of leaves and stuff in the bottom because it's been storming and super windy, but it's totally fine. Um, so today we're actually going to take this whole section out and replace it with river rock because we have a pile of river rock in our front driveway that we've had sitting there for a week now because we weren't able to finish what we started the other day. Um, so I'll show you what we did back here. It was a bunch of dirt and grass, but now, as you can see, it is river rock, and I got a blue agave, a regular agave, and some yuccas. There's another agave that will be going over there. Oh, we also got an oleander, which I'm so pumped. This is gonna get like six feet tall here in a year or so. Um, and it does like bright pink flowers, and yeah, so we had this retaining wall put in because all the mud that was washing from this yard was washing down into the pool, which is what made it that gross brown color. But the guy got it clean in about a week and a half, which was insane. Um, it was a lot of work for that guy, but he only charged us $300, I think, which was nice we also put all of this in right here this was just a bunch of like weeds and grass and it made no sense um and then we also hung these bistro lights which look so cute at night reflecting in the pool water and it's just been a really cute addition to the backyard and then one last thing i can't remember if i showed this but i want this for my own memories um we posted the building that was back here it was like this giant 12 by 12 building um we posted it on facebook marketplace and someone came and got it within like 15 minutes so that was so convenient because it took that guy two days to remove that building so he got it for free but that was two days worth of work that we didn't have to worry about more mulch for the no they're out of mulch for the next 10 days oh. grace is that your fish <laughs> the cheap stuff. 